Okay, y'all, you know, Angel's Envy is my favorite whiskey. I was able to get my hands on this beautiful Cellar Collection series. If you want to hear about it, stick around. in the collection i feel like we should go back and, okay. and say like i had to do some research on this because it makes me feel safe when we're recording these things mm -hmm. and the master distiller at angel's envy says that these should be tasted in chronological order okay okay um so um we're gonna start with the 2019 mm -hmm. the volume one is the oloroso sherry cask mm -hmm. um and by the way, can we talk about how beautiful this packaging is? It's the best packaging I've ever it's seen. It's so pretty. And like, uh, I like to show people the Red Breast 27 oh, yeah. packaging because it's, it's, it's really beautiful. Yeah. Um, but you know what I think happened? Remember last year when we got the Ice Cider cask? Yeah. And people started saying like, oh, this is crappy packet. I feel like... Enough people complained about how expensive the ice cider was and how they just basically put it in a box that was a pretty color that they were like, oh yeah, sucker? Hold my beer. Hold my beer, or whiskey or in this whiskey. case. And they went way over the top. Yeah. So you've got this outer box, which by the way, I almost tore it apart <gasps> trying to get sure. it open because it's got a latch in the front um, that I didn't realize was the latch. And then it opens up to uh, these beautiful uh, bookends. Can I just can I pick one up? Yeah. I didn't even get to look at the inside. Yeah. These I mean, like beautiful bookends. Seriously. And um, oh, it's so pretty. Just just lovely. And then you know, once you open it up, you see all of the detail on the inside of the packaging. And there's texture on it. I mean, it's it, everything is textured. The colors are vibrant and beautiful. It is something to behold. Um, so. A plus on packaging. Yeah. Um, so obviously the distilleries, Angel's Envy. Um, these are the seller collection skews. So uh, one time in the last three years, they released a special release. And this year they released half bottles of all three of the last three years. So the people that missed out could have a chance. Could have a chance. Uh, and I, you could try them together. I don't think I was drinking Angel's Envy three years ago. I yeah, maybe not. I don't know. Um, but now we got them. I believe they're non age stated. Um, do we know the proof? I think the proof on all these is 100. I think they're all 100 proof. No, uh, this one's 55.8 ABV. This one's 50. All right, so uh, the first and the third are 100 proof, and it looks like the second's probably cash strength. Okay. Um, something like that. Um, the SRP on this was. 399 something like I that. I think. Yeah, it was expensive. I, I've seen it now for like between 649 no, no, and 1000 on the I think it was 499. No, I think it was 399. It was expensive. It was a lot more than we normally spend on whiskey. But we got it at the distillery. Yes. Cuz you won the lottery. Woo -woo. And then we got Seriously. there and they still had more for sale. <laughs> And uh, that was kind of shocking. And then I heard stories about people who found it in distribution. Yeah. And the some of the, the stores cut their margin on it because it was so expensive. And you could get it cheaper Shut up. at like a total wine than you could at the distillery. But that's okay because we secured ours. Yes. And they um, released 8,000 sets from what I yeah. was able to. And all the bottles okay. are, are 375s. That's okay. so cute. So let's start with this guy. Yeah. What is it? Um, this is the Oloroso? Yeah, this is the, the Oloroso Sherry Cask. Here, you pour, because I'm a bad pour. Yeah. She, you will and tell everybody about your special glass. Oh, yeah. So, um, the well, really the first and the only time I've ever been to the Angels and Bay Distillery, um, we kind of accidentally ran into Wes Anderson. Wes Anderson yeah. um, and he signed my bottle, which was amazing. But I was like a kid in a candy store. So, Randy is like you know, talking whiskey stuff and West Sign and stuff. And I'm like, add to cart, add to cart, <laughs> add to cart. Um, so I got a little bit of everything, including this um, amazing Capita, which by the way, 
We we're, have, we are coming out. We're with a coming capita. out with our own capita soon. It's it's very exciting. It's very so. exciting. Should should be here soon. So yes, we met Wes Anderson. Um, I can vouch. Wes Anderson Super is nice one guy. of the nicest people in the industry, and the most responsive in text message. <laughs> Like, there are people in the industry that I'll text message, and it'll take them literally months before they respond. Yeah. Wes Henderson will, like, text me back in 20 minutes be like, I'm so sorry, I'm on vacation, but can I reach back out to you on Monday? I'm like, you do you, bro. I just, he's, I he is him. the best. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, the Henderson family started uh, the Angels Envy Distillery. Yes. Uh, the patriarch, Lincoln Henderson, was a Brown Foreman employee, was responsible for creating Gentleman's Jack. Mm -hmm. uh, back in the day and had the idea of blending together the scotch style of making whiskey with the American bourbon style of making whiskey by taking fully American bourbon whiskey after it's already legally bourbon and aged and then finishing it in a secondary cask they kind of popularized finishing so and that's it, like, why it this even is so says on the back of this box master distiller Lincoln Henderson used to say taste is never an accident um, now the master distiller is Owen Martin. Mm -hmm. Is he was he from another distillery? Did he move over? Is I don't he... I don't remember his history, um, but he's done a really good job yeah. at, at uh, Angels Envy. Uh, a lot of their special releases have been awesome. So let's talk about this Oliva yes. So Sherry. Let's do it. Um, I already started tasting while you were talking. <laughs> so teeter. Yeah, I mean, if I'm not talking and there's a glass in my hand, I'll probably take a sip. I don't know. Me too. What are you getting on this one? It's kind of raisiny, right? Um, it should be. It should be raisiny. Um, okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and let everybody know. I probably am going to hate all of these. Mm -hmm. Could you? Yeah. I have a genetic disposition to be sensitive to, to sulfites. Sulfur. Yeah. And um, all of these old world casks, they literally import from Europe. Mm-hmm. And in transit, they get treated with a sulfite solution, and then uh, other people can't taste it, and I can. And so, um, I'll give you my tasting notes on this <laughs> order, so Sherry. Matchstick, matchstick, matchstick. <laughs> it tastes exactly like those matches. Are, those are Randy's tasting notes. I'm, tr I'm trying to get underneath. Yeah, I mean, I like, after I said that, now it's what I smell. Um, but yeah, like, it's, it's raisiny. It has like a nutty something. Oh, yeah. Like just a just a touch just a of, hit of yeah, like a like a toasted almond mm -hmm. or something. Um, sometimes the uh, sul sulfur tastes a little like a shiitake mushroom. I don't me. eat I don't eat mushrooms. Yeah. Or mushrooms. Yeah, mushroom, mushrooms. Either way, she's out. <laughs> no matter how many there are. You said mushroom twice. You said it the same way twice. Okay. I, sometimes I say words weird. <laughs> and she gets real upset about it. No, we think it's so funny. Yeah, like I can't say... Celery. Um, I don't know about that no, one. No, you say, you say celery uh, instead of celery. I say burrito. Yeah, burrito, burrito. And I'm like, no, no. I used to eat Frito burritos when I was so a kid. So you did it right just then? Frito burritos. That's no. what I used to eat when I was a no, kid. Yes. Frito. And she says they're free. I can see it. I can read. What's the other thing you say? You say, um, okay. Okay, friends. This is going to be in the outtakes. Um, the word B-O-T-H is both. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Say both. Both? <laughs> B-O-L-T-H is how Randy says both. Both. You say both. I know. It's both. I, I'm sure. <laughs> if you're a Yankee from Iowa, but if you grew up here in Texas, mm, yeah. it might have an L in there. Both. 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 Yeah. Both on the window seal. Whatever. You and your Davenport. <laughs> Park in the driveway, drive in the parkway. No. Hold on, you cannot move on. We haven't even talked about it. All this right, yet. let's go. Can we let's go. Finish my old Rosso matchstick. Old Rosso matchstick madness. Mm. Any other tasting notes? I think I think the nuttiness was an interesting. Yeah. 
Interesting pull. It's almost like um, some, like Nutella. Some sherries are known for being nutty. And so that would make sense. That it's like it's like raisin Nutella. Raisin Nutella. Okay, yeah. that's fair. That's fair. All right, let's with move a, on. A squishy poo of matchstick. With a little bit of matches. If you're sensitive to that kind of thing. If you're, yeah. Or uh, the power of suggestion uh, could you be. You did it. Yeah. I was not going to taste it until you said it, and then you said it, and then it's like you ruined the whole tasting. What am I supposed to do? Lie? I can't lie. Everyone expects me to be honest. This one smells yummy. That's interesting. Still very matchsticky. You know what we didn't do? What? Is tell people we're drinking. Oh, what's so, this one? So, um, volume two is the Tawny Port cask. Tawny Port. This one, feel, like, it feels a, way more mellow than this one in terms of, like, like that matchsticky flavor you're you were talking about it is this, this one, one is like it's I'm it's not got gonna, a lot i'm of not gonna say smooth it's I'm got a lot deep. of sweetness to it so tawny port is uh so most ports are red ports tawny ports are like mm. um kind of a, a blonde color and when they were aging this whiskey i was in kentucky going to pick mm. and somebody had bought a whiskey thief like a real long Copper whiskey thief. That's what you get the whiskey out of the barrels with. And he had it in his backpack when we went on this tour. And they were like, oh, do you see those barrels? Those barrels are, we normally use ruby port barrels, but those barrels are tawny port barrels. And we're using those for a special project. And then the tour guide's like, follow me. And the whole crowd walks off. And I was looking at the guy that had the, <laughs> the whiskey thief. And I'm looking at the barrel and I'm like, should we risk it? We did not do it. That's good. For but you. Yeah. I came this close to breaking all the rules. Literally thieving some whiskey with a whiskey thief, uh, but I did not do it. Is there is there some cherry in this, or am I imagining things? Um, I can see cherry. I, I was getting like a like a toasted marshmallow or something oh, okay. in the mid. It like definitely a caramelized sugar flavor mm. on this. That's uh, that's not not quite toffee. It seems like fruity to me, like. I don't have a lot of apricot experience, but like I'm Maybe thinking like, like an overripe banana. No, that's not what I'm getting. Mm. Like a, you know, like the fruit they put on a charcuterie. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like dried out fruit. Oh. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I want y'all. It's a dried fruit. Note. You know the. the you know the fruit they put on charcuterie. Yeah, the dried out ones. Okay. Yeah. 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 This is why I'm. That was cute. I'm not a professional taster, is guys. That apricot? You maybe. know those little dried apricots? That's what, that, that, that's what I think. Yeah, it's maybe a dried apricot going on. I mean, the matchstick is not as strong with this it's one. It's not. I like that a lot. Yeah. That was very nice. Little cinnamon on the end. Mmm. Like I can see that. A little that. cinnamony. A little, little, little bit of. Mm. Baking spice note. That was fun. It's nice. Okay, so the last one is a Madeira cask. Madeira. Madeira. Yeah. Which always reminds me of Madea. Madea, yeah. Which is a very different. Very different. No Tyler Perry in this bottle. No, none. Okay. So, uh, this guy. <gasps> oh, 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 look at that. Cat like oh. reflexes. Um, Save it for whiskey. So, Madeira is a very interesting alcohol it's from an island and they um the spanish um i i think spain controlled the island but there were ships that were stopping at this island on their way around africa to go over to india okay and they would they would take on some cask of the local wine which was by all accounts, not the best wine in the world. But what would happen is in the trip, it would oxidize mm. because it was exposed to all these wild temperature changes and it was on a boat and tossing and turning on the seas and all that stuff. And they discovered that it actually improved it. And so, um, and so it's a little bit sweeter. I think the bricks level is typically a little bit higher 
I can't, I can't remember. I think it's fortified. Um, and so it's, it's a pretty interesting wine that usually has some, uh, dried fruit notes. Mm -hmm. And then, um, often the oxidation process makes it taste like, um, sweet campfire smoke. Oh, so I'm curious to see whether or not it'll come yeah, through. I'm not a huge fan of smokiness. It doesn't smell smoky though. No. I don't get the matches. Mm. This one's my favorite. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Yeah. It's got like a chocolatey something. Mm hmm. Yeah. Definitely. Mm. Chocolate note. I like chocolate. <laughs> There's baking spice in this as well. Yeah. Some cinnamon. It's fruity and chocolatey. Mm hmm. That's really nice. Really, really nice. Well, I'm a little surprised you let me open up all of your special bottles for the podcast. It, yeah, it's it's fun. So, I don't know that there's a huge point in rating these, uh, since they're really hard to find. But we can we can do it. I mean, like it's all gonna be my favorite. Okay. I just I love Angels Envy. Like of these. Like, I would go one, two, three. Same. Yeah. Yeah. It, like, I it just, yeah. Yeah, Madeira, the Madeira. It's really lovely. Really lovely. I like that. Yeah. None of that old world cask. Yeah, sulfuriness. I mean, not that this one's bad. Like, I just, I have the same sulfury thing that you do, so I, I pick it up a little bit more in in this. But, um, I you know, like took a lot of effort to get these bottles and I'm just glad I'm glad, I'm glad to have them. So. Yeah, we had to pick them up in person at the distillery. I had to call to make sure I could pick up her bottles. Yeah, cuz I won this time and not you. Mhm. Mm um but so, yeah, that happens just so everybody already. understands at home. Yeah. When I win, They're she still wins. Mine. And when she wins, she wins. Yes, but is that's how it works. You won all of these. And I won these. Okay, that's fair. Okay, yeah. that's fair. So, well, the, these and and that guy right there. All well, right, those are mine. So at yeah. the, we can't remember the actual price. I I I honestly think it was close to five hundred. But no, I think it was three ninety nine. I, I can pull it up on my phone. I don't think so. Oh, I remember. Anyway, at this price, is it a buy mm. or a pass? I that's so hard to answer. Like. Three ninety nine was even out of our budget, right? Like, um, that's a lot. Um, but as a collector, I feel like it's worth it. Mm -hmm. I was very excited because, honestly, I am more of a fan of Angels Envy Rye than Angels Envy Bourbon. But to find bourbons that I really liked that were enjoyable is um, that's a like that's a new step. Okay. Yeah. I, I would say this is one of those uh, opportunities that it really comes down to where you're at in your whiskey journey and journey. what your whiskey budget is. Right. Should you be, you know, spending part of your grocery budget to get no. this collection? Absolutely not. You know, yeah. it's, it's you know, if somebody came up to me and cash was tight and they were like, hey, I have a Pappy 23 for you and SRP. I'd be like, I can eat ramen. Not, <laughs> Shut up. Not, you don't even like Pappy. I know that, but because of the value of having a bottle like that to share you with share other it with people, people, right? Right. The experiences that you can create with that, it's, you know, it, it's bar none. So there are bottles that it's like, if you offer them to me, even if it's not financially expedient for me to be buying them right now, then I will find a way to do it. Sure. I don't think these are in that category. This is a nice to have. It, it's very nice to have. It, yeah. I mean, it's going to be so pretty on the shelf. Uh, but like, I mean, when I was scrolling through to like, I was looking at, you know, what the value is now. I mean, I've seen it from six fifty to over a $1,000. Um, what I would definitely not spend that amount of money. It's no, just... no. So yeah, don't pick this up at, uh, at secondary. But if you're a collector... Um, and you can handle the the hefty price tag. Give it, give it a shot. I mean, these these are lovely. Um, do you think mm -hmm. that it would be okay if we gave away a sample of my whiskeys? They're your whiskeys. I think that that would be super fun. Okay. Um. So what if we did? Uh, not not. I don't want to be like Cindy, like we're only gonna. Um. 
But I, I think it would be nice to give a one ounce sample pack of um, of my whiskey so that someone else can share it with me. Okay. I think I would like that a lot. And uh, without her permission, I'm going to throw in an ice cider cask. <gasps> yes, we can do that. Yeah. Because we get we have we have backup. Of we ice got cider. a we got a backup. Um, let's do that. Let's do let's do the new ones and let's do the ice cider cask. Ice cider cask. All of our bonus one yeah. ounce sample pack. That'd be super fun. All you have to do to enter to win this free giveaway is like this video, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell so that you get notified of future content and future giveaways. And yeah, and hearing her sing the Ring My Bell song. <laughs> I cannot sing it. And uh, tell them how they can support the channel. Okay, lots oh, of ways, y'all. I, le I oh. left an important part out. What'd you do? In the free giveaway, you do have to click the link in the video you description. You have to clink the clink. And you have to clink the link. You have to clink. Click the link. The link uh, oh. in the video description and fill in your basic contact information so we can run a randomizer and reach out to the winner and yes. send you your samples because we don't ask for your address until you won. I'm very excited to share this with y'all. It's very yummy. Okay. Now, okay. So how can they to support, support us, we do have a Patreon. Mm -hmm. Um, like I, it's not just like sign up and throw your money away. Like we do really cool things, distillery takeovers. Um. I mean, like really cool opportunities because mm -hmm. um, we, we try to make it, um, we try to, to give more than we take, right? Yeah. So we try to like make really fun experiences. In fact, um, <clears throat> we are going to be doing a distillery takeover blocks from Angel's Envy. What? Uh, she didn't even know about the shit. Shut up. Um, Shut your face. And Shut we're probably going to take all of the patrons that get in on the distillery takeover for a private tour at Angel's Envy. Shut your face. Yeah, and then we're going to eat at the Cuban restaurant. Oh my God, it's so good. Anyway, so if you are not a patron member and you want to go on a Kentucky bourbon experience with private access mm -hmm. to really awesome stuff, consider joining Patreon. Uh, you can also support this channel by purchasing our merch at bourbonrealtalk.com. It's all... It's really awesome merch, if I do say so myself. She uh, sourced it all. So. I mean, like Capitas. Like, like we're, Capitas. We're, it's, it's a limited run. There was a glass Capitas. company. They threatened to sell us. I said, honey, sell get me... Sell us? No, they threatened to sue us. Yeah. There was a glass company. They threatened <laughs> to sue us. And I said, if you want to. honey, get me a new glass. And she did. And I'm like, poof. Poof. New Here's glass. Here's a new glass. Boom. Here's a Capita. Yeah. T-shirts, lanyards, lids. All the things. All the things. Yeah. And so check that yeah. out. Uh, link in the video description below. And you can also support us by hiring me as your real estate agent. And by extension, you're hiring her I as am the, the transaction, transaction coordinator. coordinator. That's uh, true. If you need real estate services in the Dallas or Houston metro area, uh, there is a link in the video description below. And I give Epic Bottles this closing That's gifts. True. And if this is your first time tuning in, we'd like to let you know what we're all about and yeah. we're about bringing people together around bourbon and that's because we lost my brother to suicide in 2014 and when you lose somebody you start to try to put the pieces together of what led up to that decision and as i talked to a lot of my brother's you know formerly close friends i found out that he had started to lose a lot of the social connections around him and i've seen how whiskey creates social connections and brings people together and that motivated me to eventually form this channel to help get you connected to whiskey in hopes that the whiskey would do the rest of the job and get you connected to others. Uh, but if you're going to have connection, you need a forum. A lot of forums are filled with negativity out there. So we created our own where there is no negativity called Bourbon Real Talk Community. It's a Facebook based whiskey community that is absolutely free. Lots of great things going on in there. And those people that have been negative online taught us another valuable lesson, and that is if they can hate, we can love. And that's why we end every episode the same way, and that's this. If you woke up this morning and you're unsure whether or not anyone loved you, just know the that we love you. you, and we'll see you next time on Bourbon Real Talk. Cheers. Cheers. I kind of finished my most up so that I feel okay being on camera. Can you stand on my tippy? Is it going to be as big as you? I mean, this is almost as tall as me. I know. <clears throat> I always forget how nuggety you are so you don't have shoes on and I'm wearing boots. He won't let me sit down. He says I have to stand up because sitting gives bad energy. It gives me comfortable energy because it makes me feel safe. I feel like I'm like 
Mm. Yeah, I can curl up in a ball and be safe. I like to be ready to fight. I like to be ready to crawl under the table. And not in a drunk way, but like scared of people way. That makes sense. That was dumb. The only thing dumb about what you just did is that you thought that it was dumb. That was dumb. You're dumb. I put the emphasis on the wrong, wrong syllable. If you want to hear about it. If you want to hear about it. Stick around. <laughs> You know, give it, give it a shot. We're gonna have to redo that because you just burped on camera. That would not have been picked up, but now I have a hard cut. We did not burp on camera. I burped inside. It was the inside burp. No, you didn't. It was inside. <laughs> no. My mouth was closed. Not if you could hear it on the mic. You can't hear it on the mic. Of course, we couldn't hear the dog snoring the other day. <laughs> I edited the video with like really crappy headphones on when I was on the airplane. Hit the aeroplane? Yeah, the aeroplane. No. Does anyone want to spell airplane for Randy? In my defense, P L A N E. The closest airport Not is called Aero Country. Ooh, boom. <laughs> it doesn't make a difference. Not boom. A E R O P L A N E. It's I my can't airplane. I can't spell anyway. Maybe that's why I don't pronounce things right. <laughs> it's my airplane. It's my airplane. I like pleasure spot.